Hi everyone! As promised, bridal gown, wedding gown preview. This is my closet right now. There are eight gowns hanging here. I actually have nine, um, but I started working on one of them. So I'm going to show you these dresses one by one. Um, this may be a two or three part video, depends how long it gets. And um, I am open to pre-orders as it were. If you see something on a specific gown, feel free to send me a message and say, you know, I would like that piece. I will keep track of the requests. Um, don't expect you to pay for it until it's off the gown, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to pause the video and pull the first dress out. So, as usual, my gowns all have names, and I actually had my daughter name them this time. This gown is Flora, and I'm going to try and basically go from most simple to fanciest. Um, it has the re-embroidered Alison lace, but, oh, and there on the skirt also. Let me show you the hem, which is probably the prettiest part. That's what the hem looks like. Um, this is going to be tricky to remove, I can tell, just by looking at the the way that it is attached. It will be a little messy when it comes off, and then what I do is I just try to get rid of all the extra threads. But um, this is pure white, and um, I think I said this gown is named Flora. I'm going to show you the back too, there. It has, this is bustled, hang on, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to pause the video for a second. So looking at the back of the gown, this is actually bustled, and there's a name for this kind of bustle, it's where it goes, it bustles inside instead of outside. But anyway, as you can see there, this, these appliques continue over the skirt and a short train, so this is Flora. And there you go, it says Flora. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pause the video, go to the next gown. This gown is called Winifred, and I'm sorry, I just don't really have a way of showing the entire dress at once very well. But um, this is palest off white. And it has clear sequins, little tiny beads on it. These are the sleeves. The bodice is heavily beaded, but generally you cannot um, remove bodice appliques. You can cut around them and use it as is, but it's generally impossible to actually remove them as the stitching of the beads is generally part of the gown itself. Um, so it has random appliques on the skirt, as you can see, and I'll show you this hem. This is a pretty hem. Looks like that. And I'm going to show you the back. The back on Win Winifred is actually very simple. Uh, has a little bit here on the waist. This is another place where it's usually impossible to remove these without losing beads because again the stitches are usually attached right there. There are a few appliques on the skirt and I'll zoom in and show you what that looks like and then of course that beautiful hem because the hem is very pretty and again that is Winifred. This gown is called Diana and it has a completely different kind of lace to the other dresses that I've shown you so far. Um, this bodice piece is just stunning. I love these um, pearl clusters on the flowers. Gorgeous, aren't they? But as you can see, <laughs> not a style you would see nowadays with this big sort of V collar. I love how the lace peeks out there. Very pretty. Moving down onto the skirt, I'm sorry, I'm trying to move slowly. I hope I'm not making you guys sick. You have these gorgeous appliques. And again, look how they have these um, 
massive clusters. This is a pure white dress. The pearls are actually off-white. They are not pure white. And the sequins are slightly off-white as well. Here's the hem. I uh, haven't tried on any of these gowns. I have not actually tried to remove anything yet. I think that um, hem will be removable. These appliques on the skirt may have to be cut around the edge rather than um, removed with a seam ripper, but look, aren't they gorgeous? I'll show you the back of the dress now. So, let me zoom in a bit here. It has these sort of layers. Again, not anything you would see nowadays. And as you can see, there are appliques on there. But it's really the skirt, the train that you need to see, which is just a wonderful, wonderful thing <laughs> with all these appliques and that beautiful hem. There you go. So again, that is Diana. And I'm going to stop this video and make a part two. But I wanted to make um actually no, I'll do that at the beginning of the next video. I just want to make a couple of sort of general comments. Anyway, again, this is Diana.